prevention for me is a matter of mobilizing uh, community and citizens to address their concerns, to build their capacity so that they can understand what some of the issues are in their communities, find out how to assess those communities, and then work together to address them. Uh, resources is a big piece of it, particularly for organizations, smaller community-based organizations. Uh, also, you know, the idea when I'm talking about resources, the need for blending more available resources, whether government uh, uh, dollars or county dollars, so that we're able to move across systems to have funding available for the work. Prevention is a way of life. It's an opportunity to make communities a better place to live. And it's a responsibility of all of us to make sure that we're a part of the solution and not part of the problem. Prevention is really making a difference, not just for today, but for tomorrow. And prevention is what we need to be responsible for now, and prevention will make a difference for all of us. One of the major challenges to the prevention field today is not taking responsibility for our own future. Many people will sit back and wait for someone else to say it's okay to do this, or that we can go forward and do that, or we can't do it until we have funding. I think it's prevention's responsibility to go out and do today and by what we do and how we model, we're going to make a difference and we will be able to make our communities better places. Prevention to me is about an investment. It's an investment in our youth, in our families, and in our communities. We've got to invest people time um, because our kids are, they don't have a lot of people who are just investing their own time in keeping them away from all the different things that they can get involved in and giving them alternatives. To me, that's what prevention is really all about. It's, it's giving a reason not to get involved in things that aren't going to be healthy for them. The biggest challenge to prevention today is that I think prevention is a very academic word that we throw out there and people can't touch it, they can't feel it, they can't see it, they can't really hear it, they don't understand what it is. And we throw that word out a lot, but I think we've got to make it a human, we've got to bring stories to the table that really describe what prevention is. I think that's the biggest obstacle we face with that. Prevention to me is a net underneath our children, our families, our communities that uh, really kind of undergirds everything that we do. And that net holds together and holds up all of the things that create healthy environments, healthy kids, healthy communities. The biggest challenge to prevention today is that we don't necessarily see prevention as everybody's job. We see prevention as this person's job or that person's job. And what we really need to do is look at how can we have everyone be a part of creating healthy communities. How can everyone from a business person to someone who works in an after school program to somebody who's in a faith based group, how can we all work together to create healthy communities for our kids, healthy places to live, healthy families? How can we all be a part of the solution to problems with um, with uh, drug and alcohol use at an early age, things like um, violence amongst our young people, when we all really see that as a part of our collective responsibility, then we're all doing excellent community prevention.